Welcome back everyone. Now that we have understood about sorting and filtering, starting this video, let's learn about pagination. I've split pagination into three smaller topics. In this video, we will learn how to page our data and add the next and previous buttons. In the next video, we will understand how to jump directly to a particular page. And in the third video, we will learn how to allow the user to configure the page size. Let's head back to VS Code and get started with basic pagination and implement the next and previous functionality. In the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called pagination table.js. Copy the code from basic table and paste it into pagination table and change the component name to pagination table. When we have pagination, we also don't need the footer. So I'm going to remove footer groups and the footer section from the table. All right, our new table setup is now complete. Let's implement pagination. Step one, import, use pagination from React table and pass it in as the second argument to the use table hook. Step two, instead of destructuring rows, we destructure page from the table instance and use that instead of rows in the JSX. And that is pretty much all there is for basic pagination with React table. Let's include this component in app.js and head to the browser. Now on page load, as you can see, we have the first 10 rows instead of all the 200 rows. We have our basic pagination. Of course, at the moment, there is no way to go back and forth between the different pages. Let's see how to implement that. We begin by destructuring two more things from the table instance. Next page and previous page. These are helper functions that React Table gives us for navigating across the different pages. All we have to do is add two buttons in the JSX and handle their click events. So in the JSX, after the closing table tag, I'm going to add a div tag, add a button that says previous and another that says next. On click of the first button, invoke the previous page function. And on click of the next button, invoke the next page function that we have just destructured from the table instance. Wrap your JSX with a React fragment, format it, save the file. And if you now take a look at the browser, you can see that we are able to go back and forth between the different pages. Now there are two more properties that you can destructure from the table instance, which will benefit your pagination implementation. So from the table instance, destructure can next page and can previous page. These are Boolean properties that indicate whether you can go next or previous. These are helpful when we bind them to the disabled property of the buttons that we have just created. So on the previous button, disabled is equal to not can previous page. And on the next button, disabled is equal to not can next page. If you now take a look at the browser, you can see that when we are on page one, the previous button is disabled. And if we navigate all the way to the last page, we have the 200th row 
The next button is disabled. All is well and good, but the last bit of info that would be helpful from a user point of view is an indication of how many pages are there in total and what page are they currently viewing. For that, we're going to need to destructure two more properties. Page options and state. Then from the state, we further destructure page index. So const page index from state. In the JSX, we can add span tag page followed by a space and in strong page index plus one as it starts from zero of page options dot length and another space. If we now take a look at the browser, we can view the total number of pages and the current page. So there you have it, basic pagination with React table. In the next video, let's see how to directly jump to a particular page. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.